Well, all this Black History Month, we are highlighting unsung heroes in Charlotte and the Carolinas. The artwork of the man you are about to meet can be seen all over the Queen City. Some of those paintings tell the story of a divided Charlotte. Aisha Scott reports. You may have seen his work around Charlotte. Well, he was a, a judge, a Superior Court judge. An accomplished, self-taught artist and Charlotte native, Tommy Robinson started painting at just seven years old after his father passed away. He learned more about painting in his high school's art program. I was helping the art teacher clean the closet out and there was a set of oil paints in there. And so I asked her, what, what were they? And she told me that if I find out and find out how to use them, that I could have them. His professional career started in Europe while serving in the military. I did portraits of guys in the army and their babies and wives, and I was pretty good at it. As a young African-American male in the U.S., he didn't think it was possible at first. And I didn't think that a black could be an artist in America because we were underrated. Far from underrated now, Robinson's career has spanned 52 years, making him more than just an artist, he's also a history maker racking up many firsts along the way. I was the first member of the Charlotte Art League. <laughs> I was the first black artist accepted in the Spring Fest. I was numerous of firsts. First black artist to receive corporate commissions like R.J. Reynolds, Nabisco, a Michelin Tire, Walk Over Your Bank. Known for his historical paintings, Robinson has two murals on display at historic Second Ward Gymnasium, which was a part of Second Ward High the first public high school for African Americans in Charlotte. So all the black communities fit. If you wanted to go to high school, regardless where you lived in Charlotte, you went to Second Ward. Before the school was built in 1923, blacks had to move to other cities to get a high school diploma. And this is the different activities that Second Ward had. And the ones in the uh, maroon, that's West Charlotte. When they built West Charlotte, there were great rivalries. At 72 years old, Robinson just wants to give back, especially to minority artists. I try to convince them or show them ways that they can get into competitions and they can win competitions because I've been very fortunate. I had someone to teach me. Beautiful artwork, a walking encyclopedia for the Queen City. That's